Good morning, I'm Taylor Wilson, and this is 5 Things You Need to Know, Friday the 22nd of October, 2021. Today, a Haitian gang boss threatens to kill the kidnapped missionaries there, plus mixing and matching vaccines gets the green light, and more. Here are some of the top headlines. A gang boss in Haiti is threatening to kill the Christian missionaries, who were kidnapped there last weekend. Though, it was not clear if that applied to five children in the group, including an eight-month-old baby. In a video posted on social media yesterday, gang leader Wilson Joseph said, I swear by thunder, that if I don't get what I'm looking for, I will put a bullet in the heads of these Americans. Joseph also threatened Prime Minister, Ariel Henry, and Haiti's National Police Chief as he stood in front of. The missionaries were abducted during a visit to an orphanage. They're in Haiti as part of Ohio-based Christian Aid Ministries, which held a news conference before Joseph's video was posted yesterday. They read a letter from families of the kidnapped missionaries. Here's spokesman Weston Showalter. Dear Church of Christ around the world, thank you for your prayers on behalf of our family members, who are being held hostage in Haiti. God has given our loved ones the unique opportunity to live out our Lord's command, to love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you. He said, those kidnapped are from Amish, Mennonite and other conservative Anabaptist communities, stretching from Ohio to Ontario and Oregon. Abductions are on the rise in Haiti, after the assassination of President Jovenel Moise, in July, a devastating earthquake in August and general economic desperation. On the same day, the missionaries were kidnapped, a Haitian university professor was also abducted by a gang. Crime groups are also targeting women and children with more frequency. UNICEF said yesterday that 71 women and 30 children have been kidnapped so far this year in the country. That passes the 59 women and 37 children abducted in all of last year. Meanwhile, demonstrations continue across Port-au-Prince and nationwide, calling on the Prime Minister to step down, and for new security measures.